In this video, we're going to insert a drawer into our storage unit and then go into that drawer and build it out. As always, you need to be in the right level to make such an insertion. But first I'm going to insert a rail and style. I'm going to do that by taking the lower rail, clone and space, and I'm going to change the name. I'm going to space it from the bottom 12 inches, like that. So I have that middle, and I'm going to take, just notice that the left of that is 32, so the right of this has to be 32. Sometimes when you drag to size things, you, you don't release at the right time, which apparently I've done there. I'm also going to put the style down the middle of that. The same thing. I'm going to take that and clone, I'm going to simply clone that. Take that board, hold down the shift key and take this board, use the align tool, and left, right, and center, I'm going to do that. Insert the drawer, use the drawer icon on the upper left to insert the drawer. Here we're going to uh, size it, 12, 12. Now I'm going to locate it, and you'll notice the drawer goes in as an empty uh, container. Take that blue dot, right-click it, and copy that value. Take this blue dot, paste it. Notice that the left of that is 17, so I'm going to make the right of this 17. And it fits exactly. Now I move into the drawer level by double clicking on the work level outline and start to build the drawer. The first thing I do is insert a new board. I'm going to call this front. And you see that it's being inserted into the drawer. And I'm going to use cherry material. The width is going to be the same as the width of the drawer, which if I look down on the spreadsheet down below, I see is 13. 13. The height is 12, and the depth is going to be 3 quarters of an inch, which also is going to be the thickness. So at this time, I'm going to put the grain direction as the width and there's my first board. Take that board and clone it using the slider bar front to back like that. And here I might change the height to 8, for example, like that. Put in the sideboard. So I use the insert new board form. I'm going to use the half inch material here. So the width is going to be one half, which is going to be the thickness. The height will be eight. And for now, I'm going to set the depth at 12. The grain direction is going to be the depth. Take this. Take that red dot. Holding down the shift key, snap it there. Holding down this. In fact, I want to move that over to the left by a half inch to allow room for the drawer slide, if you're using one. Take that and make that a half inch as well. I can reverse myself and just take that board and clone and mirror it so it pops right into place. I want to make this 12 and a half. 
like that. Put in the bottom, new board form. I'm going to use half inch material for the bottom. The grain direction is going to run the depth. The width, again, I just kind of, this is going to be a half inch. And that's going to be the thickness, and the depth is going to be 8 as well. What I do is put those in there just kind of quick. There's no need to take the time and actually calculate the, the size or location because I'm going to use the blue dot method. So I right click the blue dot, copy that, take this and paste there and that's now partially located hold down the shift key and red dot snap hold down the shift key and red dot snap now I didn't pay any attention to the joinery or anything like that I just wanted to demonstrate so if I go back to the assembly level you see that that's there now I can take that drawer, I go down, take that drawer, the spacing amount is going to be two, do it like that, and then I have my two drawers.